All right, we've got Willie from Empirical Labs here. Now, you have just released a brand new 500 series yep. module, which is the pump, I believe. Yes. Can you talk me through it? Sure. This is the pump. It's a 500 series compressor that's heavily based on the distressor. Ooh, nice. So, you know, okay. people have been asking for a distressor 500 series forever now. Yeah, I bet. And, you know, we finally kind of did it. So a lot of the same DNA from the distressors in there, like the detector circuitry and stuff, you get eight ratios, two to one to 20 to one. There's no nuke ratio and no Brit mode, but you get everything in between. Okay. Your attack and release are actually stepped, digitally stepped. So it's not like a detented pot or anything, but when you're in a marking, you're at that setting. Right. So it makes recall super easy in that regard. You've got a detector high pass and then a saturator, which is different than your distortion modes. The saturator is actually based on the Mikey saturator, so it's more of a germanium soft clipper than the distortion modes in here. Oh, so it nice. can actually get grittier than the distressor can in some Right, ways. okay. You have an opto auto release mode, which is program dependent, but it's really smooth, really nice and musical, especially on vocals. And then you get app mod, which comes from the arouser plugin. And that's an attack modification control, which slows just the initial front end of your attack envelope in a really unique way where, let's say you've got a really fast attack setting on drums and you like the compression that you're getting, but it's taking the life out of it. You lose the transient and the smack. You dial up the attack modification and it brings back just enough of the transient to like bring the life back to the sound, but you don't lose the gain reduction that you were getting. So sonically, how close are they? It sounds very close to the drum. Right. Not identical, but... Not identical, but very I guess close. it's a smaller unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tried to pack as much as we could into I it. I bet, you know? yeah, I bet. Now, I've always been interested in your DSs. Yeah, the Duressa. This one, yeah, Duressa. So that was actually taken from our Little Freak. It's the exact same circuit from the Little Freak in here. What's great about it is the listen mode, which lets you audition, you know, what frequencies are going to be triggering the DSer. And there's a high-pass mode and a low-pass mode for that. And then the okay. most unique so thing... So solo, soloing the delta. Yeah. Right. And the most unique thing about it is the high-frequency limiter, which is a high-frequency compressor, almost akin to the warmth in the Fatso, where it'll kind of dynamically low-pass your sounds. Okay. It's really great on drums, especially like harsh cymbals and stuff, because it saturates the high frequencies first. Oh, man. I'm sold on more gear than I want <laughs> now.